Hey, intro. All right, so I'm going to show you what you guys are going to be doing with your Zentangle and what is up next. The first thing that you want to do is, this is what I've been saying in the uh, directions, is you want to clean up the insides of your leaves and flowers and your stems because you want those to be pure white. Because um, what we're doing is we're actually looking at the shape of this and not what's going on in here. We're looking at the shape of the positive space and the negative space is all chaotic and has all these cool zentangles. So it's forcing you to look at these beautiful shapes and these lines and all that. All right, so you wanna clean those up and you wanna erase all that. Now, what happens is when you do that, sometimes you lose the contrast between your leaf and what's happening in your zentangle. Some of that is because your zentangles aren't tight enough with design. Some of your zentangles have been so open and there's so much white space, which I encouraged you not to do. So you might wanna put some more lines in there. But um, for something like this, I don't see where this ends and this starts. This isn't obvious. So something that you something you could do is you could take your pencil and then you just kind of gradually bring the lead out with your pencil like a gradient. And then you can kind of use your finger and um, smear that in. And then I've created a very subtle contrasting line. So this isn't a pure line, but it has created a line and an edge to show where this leaf has ended and started off. Another thing that you guys can do if you don't want to do that is you can literally outline very carefully your stems with your marker. Okay? And you could do that. Oh boy, the dog. Okay, so that could be a choice as well, but please be careful about it. Don't be sloppy. No one wants to see your sloppy lines. All right, now, what I want you to be thinking about is this. You are going, you should have practiced your colored pencil and um, what you have choices of two things. One thing with your colored pencil is you can take this and you can give it color, all right? So you will see that I chose each one of my Zentangles and I put all these really cool variety of colors in here. We'll talk about this more later. Another thing you could do is if you would like to keep this, you should have um, traced your original plant twice like a couple of days ago when I gave those instructions. And what happened is, is I had an extra, um, I had an extra drawing, remember? Cause we've traced it. So I had, I had two plain drawings, one I zentangled and one is doing this. So what I want you guys to do for tonight's homework is, if you are not finished zentangling, you need to be finished by Thursday, okay? It's due on Thursday. If you are finished Zentangling, I would like you to decide if you are going to take your Zentangle and you're going to color your Zentangles with colored pencil, or if you're going to use your other sheet and you use, you're going to do this. So that's something that I want you to decide. And if you um, are gonna keep this one, then you might want to go ahead and outline it carefully or do the um, color or to do the lead value drawing to show those contrasts so that those um, that these are really obvious and they stand out. And then on Thursday, I will give you two tutorials of how to do um, this one or this one so you can be ready and know which one you're going to do. All right. Okay, have a good um have a good rest of the day. I love and miss you. Bye.